Good morning. Welcome to the channel, Big H on Motors. I'm of course Big H, and uh, today we're looking at this. That's not just a mess, that's the disaster at. That's the rat luck Vauxhall Astra. Let's take a closer look. That, as you can see over there, is my poodle. We'll start with him first, because he's been a pain in the arse all day. Think yeah. Yeah, so, let's have a closer look at this. This is a 2003 Vauxhall Astra 1.7 Envoy non-turbo. Imagine the power, 60 or 75 brake horsepower. But as you can see, come here links. It's rat look, so it's got the sticker bomb bonnet, along with many pieces of rust and uh, faded bits of paint. Not everyone's cup of tea, but I like this. Uh, see, you've got the uh, obligatory rusty wing and the uh, look at those wheels, they aren't they fantastic? Oh, dogs decided to bail into the car. Up, oh, come in, good boy, you sit there. So, as you can see, it's uh, well, it's a woody, or is it? Mm, I don't think it is, it's actually fablum. Got the obligatory pug, and there, if you're not sure what it is, it tells you it's a rat. All in all. I like this. Now there is a reason for this being like this. This is going to be used for raising money for cancer research and mind throughout the coming year. But the more on that later, let's just take a look around it at the minute. So as you can see, there we are, Papa Paul's ride. On adventure before dementia. About right. Moving around to the back. As you can see, it's got rusty bits which aren't finished yet. It's got a meerkat which is blowing in the wind. Back's all been sticker bond. I quite like it. That's my favourite one. Apparently, that's me when I'm old. And there we are, disaster at. On a mission with high emissions. So, exhaust is standard. By the looks of it for the minute, Grandad ride, very appropriate. It's got the uh, roof rails on. There's a roof rack to come on that. On the opposite side, again, it's got the Fablon. And there we look. Fuel, diesel, only the brakes. You must be brave to drive this. Wheel arches are rat look, rust look, should he? But yeah, I quite like this. Gaffer tape on the side, just to finish off that rat look. Again, the obligatory plug. That engine you can hear in the background is my dog. He's got a, issues with being away from me, so I'm going to have to see him in a minute. But yeah. There we go. Everyone says it looks a bit uh, SHIT, so I thought we'd put the uh, gent stickers on just to make sure. But again, we've got the Fablon on this side. Got the stickers. And there we have the rust and rivet look wing. So, all in all, I like this vehicle. Like I say, we're going to use it. It's mine. It's one of mine. So, we're going to use it for raising money for various causes throughout the, uh, throughout the summer. So, keep an eye out for it. We'll see it around. Come and speak to us, find out more about the charities that we're raising it for. A bit of certain events, but we'll uh, do that in another video because we're not sure exactly where it's going to go yet for uh, reasons that I'll go into a bit later on. Let's have a quick look in the back. So you can see it's quite windy, so I'm not sure how good this microphone's picking up on things, so every second. Voila! There is all my camping stuff in the back. As you can see, it all boarded out the back, he's got the dog guard, I've got a couple of uh, self-done lights there, nothing too flash, I've got the obligatory carpet, roll mat for when we're camping, so there you are, that's the disaster at. Have a quick look inside, if the uh, dog will let me, there we are, say hello Lincoln, there we are, that's my dog. Well, one of them. And they saying inside, we've got the GoPro on the go. Over there, good boy, over there, over there, over there. So we've got the dog guard there, which obviously is, is working well, because the dog's in the front with me. So there you are. Uh, we've got the skull. So yeah, it's just a standard Astra inside at the minute. Uh, it won't be for longer. We've got a uh, headline and tartan stuff that we're going to put inside. But yeah, just watch this space. It's an ongoing project, so... Let's take her for a spin. See what she's like. I bet she's not fast. Mm. 
So, let's take the old girl for a spin. Put my seatbelt on, hang on. As you can see, we're very professional here on the big HR motors. Everything is planned well in advance. If only that was true. There we go. Hi. All is well, all is working. Right, here we go. Sit down, boy. Sit. Well, technically, you're not supposed to have the dog in the front of the car, but, um, well, he is. So there we are. As you can see, it's very quiet in here. Not. Well, yeah, what do you expect from a 16 year old van? All the suspension standard. There's nothing altered about it in any way, shape, or form. I know people think, uh, you know, oh, you should slam that. There's no point because uh, we use it to go to festivals and camping and whatever in. And uh, a lot of the ground is like this. So as you can appreciate, if it was lower, we'd have trouble getting it on and off the uh, the campsite. So, um, so yeah, we've left it just as it is. I quite like it anyway. It's old, it's slow, it just plods along. But, you know, it just goes on and on and on. Sure, nothing's coming. Sorry about muggling, mugging the way, but there you are. It's all live, ladies and gentlemen, all live. So there we go. But she goes well. It's never going to break any speed limits. Speed records, never break the speed limit, ladies and gentlemen, obviously. So uh, there we go, 30 miles an hour. But she goes along nicely. Steering's okay. It's for a van, I suppose, and a vehicle of its age. It's not going to be... Uh, not going to be sports car like by any way of the uh, stretch of the imagination, but she goes all right. I mean, we're doing just under 30, just over a thousand RPM, as you would expect from a, an old diesel, which is the 1.7 Isuzu naturally aspirated diesel engine. I think it's the DPI 16 valve. I'm sure if I'm wrong, somebody can uh, someone can correct me, but uh, allegedly supposed to be the most reliable. Now whether it is or not, I don't know. I've had this van for nearly a year and I've never had any trouble with it. Uh, like I say, it's not very quick. It's quite slow. I think it's, what, 75 horsepower or something around about that. So, you know, it's not a speed demon by any stretch of imagination. But, but, you know, what do you want it for? And in our case, it's for it's for camping and, you know, going biking and moving the stuff from A to B. So for us, it suits us fine. If I want, if I want a bit of a turn of speed, I've got the yellow apparel. The uh, Suzuki Swift home, so uh, amongst other things, but we'll get on to the rest of the uh, the fleet at a later date. But I'll uh, do some more screen wash. But yeah, it goes okay. Stops, brakes are okay. They're just just an old Astra, really. But you know, done in a, a unique style. Now, if we go past anybody, which I doubt because we are actually down the country lane, the um, the looks that you get in this thing when you drive past, because obviously it looks like something that's just fell off the scrapyard wagon. It's quite funny, you'll either get people uh, look at it and look the other way quickly when you make eye contact with them as if they're embarrassed for you, or you'll get people that look at it and laugh and find it funny, which I find hilarious, or you'll get the thumbs up <coughs> and people nod at you and people come up to you and talk to you and ask you about it, which is what we want really. Like I say, we're doing a, I'm not here to, you know, I'm not doing a bag Bob Geld off and you know give us your money or whatever. Sorry about that terrible action. But we are going to raise a bit of money for charity over this year with this. Like I say, there'll be more on that in a future video. Where we're going to be, how we're going to go about it, how you can get involved if you want to. If you don't want to, just turn up and have a look. Like I say, there's a, I haven't got that many subscribers at the minute. The videos are going better than I thought. So thanks to everybody that's watching them. Uh, um, please continue, please continue support, watching the a silly old man in uh, silly old cars and new cars on the video that, uh, you know, they're dodgy videos by a dodgy old man. Not really, not dodgy. Videos aren't particularly wonderful, but hey ho, I'm an amateur and I'm, uh, I'm having fun. But yeah, there's, uh, that's it really. Plods along well, bit of noise coming from the back as you expect from a van. But it'll go forever, I would think. So, uh, Thank you for watching the video, uh, please subscribe and um, we'll have another video up as soon as we can.